In this video, I'm going to show you how to add fibers into your cordage through a technique known as splicing, which is going to enable you to make a nice long piece of cordage. So here we go. And basically, we're going to start the same way, except this time we are going to stagger the ends of our cordage. So you have one side that you want short and one side that you want long. And you're going to start twisting your fibers the same way as I showed you before. So you're going to one hand away, one hand towards, and you're going to get that nice loop right there. And you're going to do the same exact thing that you did before where you just twist your fibers. Okay, so you have your cordage. You made it the same way as you did before. And now we've come to the end of our short piece. What we're gonna do is take some more fibers and we're gonna splice them. All you have to do is just add them in to your already existing fibers. Leave a little bit at the top, those you can just cut off later, and go ahead and just twist them. I like to kind of give them a twist so that they sort of integrate together. And then continue to twist your cordage. Now, I'll just show you something because, so some of them actually fell out. They didn't get twisted in. And so this piece here is kind of thin. It's not as thick as I'd like it to be because these guys fell out. So what I'm gonna do, because I don't want to have my cordage start to get super thin all of a sudden, is I'm just gonna splice in these fibers that fell out. So just so a little tip, you can splice fibers in if you feel like it's getting too thin. And you can also cut some out if you feel like it's too thick. So you can really play with it. Okay, so as you can see now, the other side that was long is short and this side is nice and long. So we're gonna splice in like we did before. We're gonna take our fibers and we're just gonna add them in. We're gonna keep a little out, kinda twist them, twist them together. And we're just going to continue making cordage on and on. So when you do finish your cordage, you want to go back and just trim off the little pieces that are sticking out. And you can refine it as much as you like. So I even like to cut off these little pieces here but then just go through and just cut off where you spliced in your fibers because it should be nice and tight you can see there's some good tension on this so yeah that's how to extend your cordage through the technique known as splicing um, I hope you're able to get out and practice this skill. If you are unable to get to like a natural source, um, that is actually not a problem. There are two materials that you can buy in a store, which are natural materials. You have raffia and you have um, jute. So you don't always have to go out and get like a natural natural plant. 
from a, you know, mama cat. She's playing on the leaf. Um, anyway, you don't always have to, you know, go out and harvest your own plant if that's not something that you want to do or something that you can do or something that you feel comfortable doing. Or heck, let's just, you know, maybe you don't have time. Maybe, you know, you don't have um, the access. So there's... Um, raffia and jute there for you if you need it both are pretty easy to come by and not too expensive so cordage now you can make yourself a necklace instead of a bracelet <laughs> do you like my necklace there it is there it is yep or you can make yourself a cat a cat catcher. Oh, look at him. Cleaning his butt on camera. Alright. Take care, and until next time, I hope you're able to get out and bring a little bit of the wild into your life.